On the peninsula, preparations are underway for the San Mateo County Fair, which kicks off tomorrow. And this also has something to do with vaccinations. Yes, there's always a COVID angle on everything, which means everything runs a little differently. So let's see what they're doing. Crown Force Camila Barco is live at the fairgrounds with more. Oh, there's all the food, Will. Hi, Camila. I can't eat with the mask on. Good morning, Daria and Will. So that means that the fair is opening its doors tomorrow, and that also means the attractions are back, the games are back, and most importantly, the food is back. But instead of eating it over here, there is a designated area for people to eat their food. And here to talk about it with me is Justin Aquino, the manager here at the fair. So you guys have set up a bunch of tables. It looks like it's socially distanced. So can we talk about these designated um, eating areas. Yes, uh, per uh, California state guidelines, whenever you have food, a bar, um, anything that might need to be consumed at a certain location, you need designated eating areas. Mm -hmm. And so this whole area right here is our food court, and we have certain designated areas here and in other places throughout our fair. Um, over um, here we have another one where um, there may be just a couple stands there, but it's there for people to eat um, after they receive their food. Um, so we want to make sure that uh, everyone comes to the designated eating area after they receive their food. Uh, they're all socially distanced by six feet, as our required um, social distance okay. is. Um, the food area here, usually you would have about 16 different food stands, oh, wow. um, all condensed here in this area. It's much smaller right now, uh -huh. and we did that purposely. Okay. We wanted to ensure there was also a minimum of six feet of social distancing between okay. each of our food stands. Okay. You'll see more hand washing stations within the food court that you haven't seen beforehand. And so it was all part of the state guidelines that we were following through. And as state guidelines were ever changing, we kept in adhering to um, what those guidelines were. And I know when people come to the fair, they look forward to the attractions, but also the food. And I know this year you guys had to make some changes as far as to how many vendors you guys have here. So can we talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we're about less than half our traditional vendors, and that was done purposely. Uh, we still have a lot of food vendors still reaching out to us, wanting to be a part of the fair. And I can't imagine when we made our announcement in April, how many of them had asked us, oh, we want to come back to the fair. Uh, but we had to make some really difficult decisions. Uh, many of them would be right next to each other, uh, but understanding, you know, what the guy guidelines were, we want to spread our concessionaires apart more than ever beforehand. Okay, and I mean, are people allowed to pay with cash, card? How are you guys handling that this year? Yes, yeah, so yeah, cash and card will be accepted. We recommend cards, uh, but cash will also be accepted. Awesome, well, thank you so much, Justin, for talking with us about that. And there is a chance for people to get a $20 voucher for food. However, there is a catch. Check this out. The fair is hosting a vaccination clinic starting tomorrow. Tomorrow. That clinic will be just feet away from the fairgrounds. It starts tomorrow at noon and it goes until 8 p.m. The clinic is outside the fair's main entrance at gate 5 and workers from the San Mateo County Public Health Department will administer the Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It is available for anyone 12 years and older and if you get your vaccine here, you will receive free admission to the fair, a $20 voucher for food and four free carnival ride tickets. So the vaccine are free and no appointment is needed and all of this can be yours if you guys are getting vaccinated at the county fairgrounds starting tomorrow at noon. Daria Will, back to you. All right, so Camille, I'm going to let you know because you're new here at Cron that it is a tradition. So in the future hits this morning, <laughs> No mask, number one. And Will Trin will tell you, if you're at the fair, Sarah's done it too. This is part of our morning show thing. You must inhale as much fair food live on camera as possible. I'm sorry, but it's your assignment. So, so start looking at the menu. And every time we check in with you, big bites. I mean, okay. we're talking, yeah, it's all, it's got to go in. It's got to go in. You can't just, yeah, it's got to go in. Right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this right is your. Now. All right, so we're going to take the mask off. <laughs> I can't believe she's making me do this. All right, okay. but it's part of tradition. So we're it's gonna, all about. We're going to take the mask go off. Go ahead. It's all about the biggest burrito. bite. Give it the big. There. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Live eating on TV. Okay, we will see you in about an hour or a half hour from now to see what you choose next. <laughs> okay, come on. So you don't. On food. Don't yeah, worry. Don't have to talk with a mouthful. We'll see you in a bit. Will she live up to that? Okay. No, that's cheating. It's 